Well, that didn't last very long. This is the PS Vita that I fixed in the video that's in one of these corners, and it now doesn't charge properly. If I wiggle the cable, there we go. The orange lights came on for a split second there. But it doesn't turn on, presumably because the battery's gone really flat. There we go. So I think it's still working, it's just the charge port is now completely given up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it for USB-C. And this kit is the Vita C by Oxil Mods, which I paid for. It wasn't sent to me for free or anything. So there's no paid promotion in this. If it's rubbish, I'm going to tell you that it's rubbish. Although if I had been sent it for free and I thought it was rubbish, I would still tell you it was rubbish. Because that's the kind of guy I am. So the first thing I need to do is I need to build this. I mean, it's not difficult. I need to put the port on this little board and there's a couple of resistors and that is a little 3D printed bezel type thing. Look after that, please, Dave. So let's get the microscope out and let's put this together. Right, there she is. I'll put a link to this in the description, by the way. And we'll start by just tinning these pads for the resistors. You can buy this board already populated, by the way. Get off. Mess of this. Nice. Right, we just need to flip it over and solder the port on. I'm just going to tack down a couple of these legs and then I'm going to come in and do the, the ground legs on the back. Solid. 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 Now I just need to take this apart and get back down to the board. Should be fun. Still hashtag not sponsored. Right, I guess it's voiceover Steve time. Yay! I want to shout it out. Three of us is in the house here to make a star. He's been here for years. I need to thank Ellis. Cause he DJ in his game and he never backs down. Man, he's always got my back. Jam Rag is here. My homie from Berlin. I was meeting too. He's bringing it fresh. I'm jumping up in here. I got more to go. So I'm gonna go down swinging. Don't you forget. Markovitz with the 19 Western himself in between Adam 
Taylor, the audio is routine. I'm gonna break without warning. Here's the rest of it. Daft, Willie, Ben, Slightly, Tune, Johnson's in the place. Mr. Wiggs, Mr. Harden, and Flynn, and Pike, Chad. There's the hate change, Jim. So it's way one bass under Alex, Reed, the guy who's having a bar. Slugs and crinkle it too. I'm gonna rock this place till we take the last breath. Then wake oh. up in here. I got more to go. So I'm gonna go down swinging. Don't you forget. The legend and multi-man, yeah. Monkey Joe Tokyo there. Thanks for that voice over Steve, that was beautiful. Alright, let's get this back under the microscope and let's have a look at this port, see if we can figure out how to get it off. Right, shall I try and get this off with low melt solder? Is that a good idea? Or shall I just use the hot air? I'm going to try low melt, if it doesn't work then I use hot air. I'm not bothered about ruining the port, I just want to get it off. I bought this low melt from eBay, it might not actually be low melt, it didn't come in like a tub or anything, don't know how good it is. Need to be careful of these little components on the right hand side there. Yeah, this isn't proper. Look, look how quickly it solidifies. I've got no chance with this, have I? Let's just use hot air instead. melted it a bit. Use some solder wick just to move the excess. Nice. So it looks like you line up like this. I think it has got lines on the other side so you can check alignment but I'm just going to tack one of these on and then I can flip it over. Add some flux. <laughs> it moved. It, it's kind of on. I'll tidy it up in a minute. See what it looks like on the other side. Nice. Yeah, there's the white lines. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Nice. Right, so we've got 5 volt and a D plus. Right, we've got this diagram. 5 volts goes to that fuse, which I think is the one I replaced. And then we've got D plus and also D minus going to that, looks like a filter. So yeah, we've got 5 volts here, but we've also got it here. And it needs to go to there. I'm trying to think which is going to be the neatest way of doing it. I guess it's going to be easy from there, just run a little jumper wire like that. I'm going to use some slightly thicker wire for this one because it is the voltage. Nice. 
Right, so D plus is the top part of this filter, which is here. And it goes to that via there, but then does it come up here? Yes, it does. So I could just run it from there to there. That would be easier, wouldn't it? But then let's just have a look at the other side. So on this side we've got a D minus and a G. Just looking through the instructions, it doesn't look like you need to solder on the G, but I do need to do the D minus. Well, I've got the board this way around, I'm going to put the, I'm going to tin this up and put the jumper wire on it. I'm going to use 0.1mm enameled wire for this one, just in case it needs to touch anything else. There she is. Right. right, this one needs to go to here, or here, I think I'm going to do it to here, because then I can run the D plus from there to there without risk of the wires getting in the way of each other. I'm just going to check continuity before I put solder mask on this to screw everything down. Right, so from this side of this filter here, that should be D+, plus, which should be here. And also here. Nice. This side of this fuse should be 5 volts and here. Nice. And then we've got D-, minus, which is here. I'm going to have to flip the board around. Can't do this under the microscope, you're just going to have to take my word for it. If you hear a beep... Think of the fun you could be having on Supermarket Sweep. That's a strictly British joke. Nice. Right, we're all wired up properly. Let's just let it dry off a bit, and then let's put some solder mask on. Quite pleased with that. I'm sure I'll mess up the solder mask, but... Right, the only other thing I need to do is cut the case. So I need to trim these four points here, which are... Um, that looks different. So on the diagram, we've got four points to remove next to this, whatever that is. Uh, but on mine, I only appear to have three. One, two, three. Actually, yeah, I can see where it will... Yeah, I can see where it sits slightly proud on the board here. So I'm just going to remove a tiny bit from, from this area here. There we go. I'm not sure whether that comes across very well on the camera. But you can see I've removed some of that area there. Maybe? Kind of? Yes. I think that's going to be fine. Right, I'm going to put all this back together and then we'll see if it works, because it might not. There we go, fully back together. And there she is. Looks really nice. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Let's see if it works though. USB-C. Nice. Right, so we've got the flashing orange again, which means the battery's fully dead. So I'm going to leave it charging for a bit, and then we'll come back to it. Right, it's been charging for a good couple of hours now, and it's gone to a solid light. So I think that is all good. Beautiful. Excellent. And the battery's full. Excellent. I said excellent. It's so excellent, I said it twice. I need to test the data cable on it, so I'm going to see what firmware is on this, and then I'm going to try and soft mod it. 3.73. Nice. I think it goes up to 3.74. I can't remember. I need to check that, but I think that's okay. 
Right, let's do it. Right, all done, and I put some games on. And obviously, what better way to demonstrate the Vita's capabilities than by playing Duck Hunt? Gotcha. This is a bit easy with a gun. Oh. Stupid game. Robo Ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Robo Ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Robo Ducky, joy of joy. When I squeeze you make a noise